What's up guys? Welcome to segment three, the final segment of kind of this short how to mentally prep before games. We've gone over the night before, we've gone over the day of, and now we're gonna be focusing on that mental preparation right before the final, right before the first whistle. Um, it's quick, it's not a huge block of time, but it's probably the most important um, when it comes to mental prep. So this is where we end with this one before the final, before the first whistle, not the final whistle. So for me, right before the whistle, I kind of go and draw on three things. My warm up routine, coming together with my team, and just breathing and going to play. So those are the three things we're gonna talk about today. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a huge creature of habit. So especially at Maryland and US, everything was sort of superstitious. So we did things exactly the same way every single time. And that includes warm up from the way we walked out to how we lined up to who was in where in line. Everything was kind of regimented because again, that was something we could control. Um, so I think before the whistle, making sure that your warm up is sharp, that you're mentally engaged, you're not thinking about other things for the next kind of two, two and a half hours. This game is all you can think about. So making sure you're mentally engaged um, by having a good warm up, by focusing on the little things and making sure if you have kinks, you're getting them out then. Another thing that kind of helps me men mentally prep before the whistle is feeding off the energy of my team and noticing the energies of my teammates. So some games we were on it, we felt good. You could tell we were gonna play well because the vibes were good, we were happy, we were enjoying it. Other games we looked a little sluggish, we were a little tired, maybe we'd had a long day of traveling. Um, it's important as a player to recognize those feelings and if they're negative, make sure you're changing them. Or if you're not a leader on your team yet, if you're a freshman who notices the vibes, go tell a sophomore or junior and make sure that the captains are kind of taking control of that and making sure that everyone is on the same page and that you as a team, whether you play 60 minutes or zero minutes, are getting ready to go fight and put your best foot forward. So kind of rubbing off on that energy, taking it all in, helps me mentally prepare and see kind of what needs to be done even before the whistle blows. And lastly, right before the whistle, adds someone who takes a draw, I always got nervous right as the first draw was being set, um, but that's where I kind of would have to just rely on everything I've done. Um, there's no more time to prep, there's no more time to fix or change or alter, it's just time to play. So right before the final whistle, I think it's important to have positive self-talk, um, to get out of your own head, to just breathe and fall back on all the training you've done. Um, my dad would always say, just go out and play. Like by the time I was a senior in college, I had been playing for almost 16 or 17 years and I had done it plenty of times. So at that point, when you're getting ready down, when you're getting ready to start a game, just play, just go out mentally, have fun. Um, don't overthink and just enjoy it. So those are my how to mentally prep night before, day of, right before the whistle. That's a little insight into how I kind of think um, what I do in those different stages. Um, I hope you enjoy them. I hope you fall back on some of those things and make sure that you're using them because I think sometimes more than anything, lacrosse is a mental game. Um, physically, you guys do all the work and put in all the time, but mentally is where I think grid players become great um, and great players can sometimes falter because you're not mentally mentally okay um, and not mentally in the right place. So keep that in mind um, and make sure you use these tips to help you before a game. Bye. See you next time.